two and three for education reform. And our own Eric Fink has been following those hotly mm -hmm. debated referendum items throughout the entire <clears throat> campaign. Yeah, and so we're talking more about props one, two, and three this morning. And the no campaign is hoping for a victory on all three of those props. So Eric, you've got the latest numbers for us because of course, still not 100% reporting. No, not 100% reporting. Some uh, precincts in Ada County out, but the no campaign looks to be headed for a clean sweep. And here is a look at the results with a majority of the precincts reporting. In Prop 1, teachers' contracts and collective bargaining, the no's 57%, the yes 43, 85% of the precincts in there. Prop 2, teacher pay for performance, the no's 58%, the yes vote 42, 87% of precincts reporting for Prop 2. And Prop 3, perhaps the most argued prop on the ballot this November. Technology in the classrooms, and look at this, the no campaign, the no vote, with a 66% to 34 edge, 68% of the precinct reporting here. So again, it looks as though the no campaign will be in for a clean sweep. The no camp told me in the last few days they felt confident, they believed they had momentum, and the public on their side, and all three students come first laws likely headed for defeat as Idahoans vote to reject Superintendent Tom Luna's vision for education reform. And some voters see this result, Gemma Spencer, as a referendum on Superintendent Luna. We spoke with the superintendent last night. He would only say he's never been involved in a, pro a proposition campaign before and wouldn't comment on the results until all the votes are in and every precinct has reported. But again, all three props failing in large numbers this morning. And now the education debate continues here in Idaho. Both sides agreeing the conversation will pick up again when the legislature convenes again in January. Guys, let's send it back to you. All right, thank you very much, Eric. Well, Jimmy Ferris got de in his race for U.S. House of Representatives against incumbent Raul Labrador.